Good morning. So I'm in here. I already had my coffee. I'm over caffeinated all weekend. Well, well, she did all week. So I'm drinking my water. Anyhow, uh, I just want to say good morning. Today is Thursday. Uh, happy Thursday. Almost Friday. Even closer to the weekend. Uh, I was busy yesterday. I didn't go live uh, Wednesday. Um, just to get caught up on a couple things. <laughs> uh, so last Wednesday I did my live and then I went to work. Uh, I was driving for Uber and it was raining and I got a car accident. A uh, car spun out and uh, bounced off the center divide and hit my car. Uh, luckily there was nothing major, no major injuries or anything like that. I did spend the night in the hospital just to get checked out and I was sore and, uh, you know, the normal stuff, seat belt, hurt, bruised my shoulder, all that good stuff, but I'm still functioning, so I had to get a rental. Um, I have, um, my car got totaled, my car's going to be totaled, so <clears throat> my allergies have been kicking my ass and my voice is all messed up. But looking forward to this weekend, hopefully no rain, finally in the forecast up here. And uh, I think I'll be out there luxurious at their event uh, up in Pittsburgh, California. I'll be out there. So I'm going to get some footage of that. I'm going to be practicing using some new gear that I just picked up, you know, thanks to my uh, YouTube budget. So let's see. I'm going to look at the computer. <clears throat> Jeremiah, what's happening? What's happening, Phoenix? Chris, thank you. Olivia, Scottsdale, Arizona. Pedro, what's up, San Diego? Daniel, thanks for dropping in. You know, I was gonna... <clears throat> what's up, Matthew? Anyways, so, you know, I put on a thing, I, somebody had posted, a friend of mine, you know, both that she posted on her Instagram this morning about three hobbies that, uh, you know, uh, three things uh, about hobbies. Anyway, I put it on the thing. But anyways, it says, um, you know, one hobby that makes you money, another one that keeps you in shape, another one that allows you to be creative. Well, guess what? It's what I'm doing. <laughs> you know what I mean? And, uh. You know, the, the car shows in the summer in the heat, and I'm running around, you know, especially if I'm solo. I'm from one end to the other all day, and I don't get a chance to rest. So, like, after a good weekend, depending on what I eat and what kind of junk food or whatever fast food I eat, but if I stay away from that stuff, I lose, like, five pounds easy. <laughs> and that's probably just in water away from sweating. But anyhow, it keeps me in shape. <laughs> it helps. I've lost a lot of weight doing this. It's It's crazy. What's up, Kansas City? Oh, Scottsdale. Uh-oh, little rivalry right there. Thank you. Thanks for all the love. I appreciate that. All the guys, all your support. Remember, keep sharing them, like them, comment, you know, all that stuff on my videos all helps me out. So, um, real quick, I'm going to get straight up into it. Uh, not on the live, but if you go and comment um underneath this you know comment say what's up say hi say you watched it you know anything like that next week anybody that's on the comments i'm gonna pick from one of those uh people and they're gonna win a mug you know the three mugs that i got you know and you can pick from each from one of these and i'm gonna pick a winner and i'm gonna announce it on my next live next week so uh Albuquerque, New Mexico, Raymond, is that right? San Diego in the house again, Riverside. I got family in Colton. My grandmother was born, uh, well, I think she was born and raised in Colton. Yep. Yeah. So anyhow, um, so yeah, so comment in this video, and you get get a chance to win a mug for free. Okay, fifteen ounce mug. You can get one with the girls on it, 
Or you can get this, the one with my uh, logo on it. You know, so the wife don't get mad. Anyhow, um, let's see what's going on. You guys got plans for this weekend? Three-day weekend. All right. So anyhow, what the res made. Um, so res made, man, it sucks. I mean, not that res made sucks, but it sucked that it just end up pouring rain. They have a, their show starts at like two and it goes on to eight. Well, I got there and by the time I got in and started, I just was able, there was obvious that there wasn't that many vehicles. Not that many people entered or showed up. So that's a heavy heater car show. If you've never been to Res Made, it's at a casino and it's kind of in the middle of California, like in the middle of nowhere. And, um, I, I'm connected to my phone. That's how I got, I do it right now. So I don't know. I put it on an airplane, but someone messed me through Instagram. Sorry about that. But anyhow, so resume, it was a total rain out. Rain or shine, people showed up. But you know what? In the end, most people had their cars covered. It started pouring rain. I, I got enough footage of everything that was there. And then I put the cameras away and I just chilled. Um, you know... That's a heavy hitter show, and it was their tenth anniversary, and, and that it, I really, it really sucks for them. But next year, you guys need to go support. The weather's gonna be good next year. You should go. That's a really good show, and there's always really good, nice cars. Nor NorCal, SoCal, they all meet up right there in that casino and everything else. I've said it before. It, it's it's badass. It's just it's a cool spot. So, anyways, that's unfortunate, and so I didn't get very, I didn't take any pictures, so I don't have no photos. Um, just the video of the show real quick and, and how that was. Um, but like I said, I, hopefully, maybe they'll throw another one this year just to make up for this one. That would be cool if they did that. But the reality is, is you know, hopefully next year, you guys come out and support because that's, it is a really good show and I really love going uh, to it. So uh, it, that it just that's just too bad. The freaking weather, man. It's crazy rain. It's been messing up everything for everybody because it's already should be time for car shows and uh, not rain. So... I don't know. Hopefully, we'll get a break from that. And uh, I'm looking forward to this weekend. You know, I'm going to go check out Luxurious up in Pittsburgh, California. That's going to be this weekend. Uh, flyers on my Instagram. Um, what else? So, that and then, uh, let's see, a lot of people going to be out in San Francisco this weekend as well. And then I know that people are going out to Santa Maria. But um, I'm going to try to stay local and do my thing. So, uh, and have a video for you guys for the weekend. Let me see what we got here while I was talking. South Central in the house, Joe. Uh, Brownie, Betty, thank you. Tune in. Yeah, well, you know, I'm sorry for your loss, Johnny. It's hard, I know. My grandfather passed away in uh, 97. So anyways, what I wanted to share with you, you know, and anything, like I said, I appreciate that you guys um, support me one second. Uh, anyway, I appreciate you guys' support always. You know, that's always a good thing. And it, I'll get into something else. I'll get something else. Well, I'll give you your guys' support. And uh, I'm still, uh, I haven't really had time. To uh, where we at? Oops, my bad. So, this is a DJI Ronin S. Okay, it's a stabilizer. Let's check that out. So, I use that's actually, I should have took it out, but I use the GoPro, the GoPro one, the GoPro gimbal, the Karma. 
that's really what I use to do most of my footage. My homeboy uses his uh, camcorder on a um, monopod. It helps him a little more stable. But I got this, and I'm actually, this is my camera, but we're, we're going to put his camcorder on there with my Canon. Um, this is my Canon. He has a Canon uh, camcorder, the G, G20 or G30, I forgot what it is. Anyways, it's pretty sick. I can't wait to really do some stuff with it. Um, I invested in this. It comes with this. I invested with I invested in this for one reason. Up my game. I know some of you guys get mad about the fisheye look, the wide angle from the GoPro. This is actually a wide angle lens. That's my favorite to shoot in, by the way. Excuse me. But anyhow, I can put a regular lens on here and get different type of footage. And uh, I could change out the lenses. What's good about this is that I can also use this for weddings and quinceañeras and sweet 16s. If you're in the San Jose Bay Area, um, hit me up for a quote because I'm going to go back to doing that too. But anyways, straight up camera. You know, so it's pretty sick. I know it's not all in the frame, but... You know, you can control it. Like I said, I haven't had no chance to really, I got to fine tune it with the camera and so on and so forth. But anyways, that's that. DJI Ronin. And, um, you know, I had to balance that thing. That's just crazy. But anyways, YouTube money. My YouTube money paid for that, okay? Your guys is watching, viewing, liking, sharing. That paid for that, so thank you. And um, I have pretty much a lot of the equipment I need. I really don't uh, need to be dumping a lot of money in equipment, but I promised myself this year I was going to do a couple upgrades. This thing came out, and it, we need it because the GoPro footage, everybody seems to really love that. And my homeboy, he's just using the monopod and the camcorder. So I felt that to speed up things so we get more stuff, that we needed this in the arsenal. And uh, I'm going to get that set up, and we're going to get that situated so when we're both out there, we're hitting it, and it's just going to be a different type of uh, footage. And um, <clears throat> like I said, I'm also looking to get back into doing wed wedding videos and photography. So I needed something bigger, more professional than just the GoPro Karma. Um as for, and then I also gave myself a deadline by this month I would have this, and this is what I was able to do. I found this, this is the essential kit, which was, um, I think it was 559 uh, before taxes. If you get the, the Ronin S in the standard kit, it comes with all a bunch of things with the follow focus and such and such, and that is actually um, almost $800. So I didn't need all that because that's not how I film. I know that the more professional videographers and stuff would need the follow focus and such. But um, me, I'm just kind of raw and on the go. So I'm not interested in all that extra stuff. I saved myself a couple hundred dollars. Um, so I'll be giving more footage and hopefully you guys enjoy it. I have another goal and another piece of equipment I'll be buying next month. So far, it looks like I'm going to be able to achieve that. And then after that, I'll be just booking um, Vegas and a couple other places and doing, you know, for, for, uh, to cover. Where we at? Where we leave off here? I'm going to look at the comments. Been raining in San Diego. Yeah, I heard. All down south, you guys, I think you're going to get wet this weekend. Look, I got San Diego. You guys are all up in there. New York City. Marcos. Yeah, I really got to get out there. 
I really want to go to New York. That's something I really want to do. That in Chicago. Right there, brother. I've been out there one time in 2011, but I really didn't stay in Chicago. I went to Northern Illinois. It was a Vejitos event. And I was out there up there more towards Wisconsin. But I want to get out there again. I want to be able to see Chicago. So I'm going to look forward to doing something like that. And I might just do that just for the hell of it. But um, I was thinking about going out there. I was hit up about going out there in June. But I guess that fell through. So that's fine. But um, if I have to get out there on my own, I'm going to make it a point one way or the other. So yeah, so anyways, looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to the weather getting better. I mean, because I can't sit there and commit to any kind of other uh, shows until I get some stable weather. Like I said, I'm just looking for some local stuff. Got some other stuff going on. I think, oh, and then June 1st, San Jose, they're going to do like a cruise night. And I might go out for graffiti nights. I'm not sure what's going on with that. But I heard there's an after hop on the 17th. Or no, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. On the 7th. I don't have, my phone's over there, so I don't have a calendar. But the, the Friday, that weekend, uh, there is a after hop. So anyways, all this stuff's posted on my Instagram. I really got to, once I get the streaming, um, I got to get the video streaming. So with that, I can use a better camera, and then I'll have my access to my phone. Uh, let me see. Anything else? Yeah, don't forget, comment. Go comment on this video and win a mug. Okay, I'll tell you next week who's going to win. I'll give you guys a heads up. It, it, most likely, I'll be going live on Wednesday. I didn't go because I was busy this, uh, last night, and I actually fell asleep. I was supposed to take a nap. But anyways, I fell asleep, and I had to get up and go to work. But uh, <clears throat> as for that, I'm just doing this live right now. I just want to show you there's some more stuff up and coming. You know, and, and thank you. Like I said, I appreciate you guys don't understand. I, I mean... Me and my homeboy, we do all this work. We go out there, we did this video, and in the, in the end, it, it's starting to pay off. My computer being down last month really set me back on my earnings for YouTube, but I was able to catch up with some other videos that I posted. So, but because you guys are watching my videos and liking them and sharing them, that's why, uh, you know, I'm able to afford something like this. And, uh, you know, that's what I appreciate because that's really what it comes down to. The... The reason why I don't put music, you know, and so on and so forth on my videos is so that I can earn. And the reality behind it is, is that as long as it pays for itself, that's all that matters. <clears throat> that's exactly what I want. I want YouTube, the YouTube money to pay for me to continue to bring you guys car show videos and such. You know, when I have extra money and when it, when it gets to it, I'm going to make shirts. I know everybody wants shirts, they want stickers, they want all that. You know what, I just want to make videos. I want your support, and I want to put it out there. But that's the reality of it is, is my priorities are making sure that the content is good and that you continue to, you know, I continue to evolve this uh, YouTube channel. And what I do for the lowrider community is the best that I can, you know. And I do other stuff, and I go to other types of car shows. But the reality behind it is, is that, you know, I'm just looking to be the best photographer, videographer that I like, that I want to be, um, and do things the way I like to do them and give myself an advantage. But like I said, I'm going to be investing in some other more professional equipment based on the fact that, um, you know, I'm trying to get back in. I, I kind of started last year. I didn't do any kind of weddings or quinceaneras or anything. And I turned down stuff because I was concentrating all on building this YouTube channel. And that's where I at. I was at. And now I'm I'm doing okay, it's flowing, so now I can intermingle and do other events and do some other stuff. So anyhow, um, like I said, I appreciate everybody that watches. Thank you. Uh, stay posted for the next video. This is a three-day weekend. If if I can arrange to do some kind of a photo shoot. I was supposed to do a photo shoot, too, on Saturday. I was supposed to actually do, I mean, excuse me, Sunday. I was supposed to do two photo shoots. Got rained out. So I know I did talk about that, and I just remembered. So I got to reschedule those. And then I have something, but one of them is going to be really good. It's going to be like pinup, and it's, yeah, it's the, the model's amazing. So, and you guys have never seen it before. <clears throat> Let's see. Yeah, it's paying off, you know. 
I mean, lately I've actually used it to keep caught up on bills and stuff, but I had to take care of this because it's starting to get busy. I'm starting to get a, starting to get things, you know, basically settled so I can, uh, you know, do more, uh, more stuff, be more versatile, be more creative. And I've actually got myself into a part where I, my schedule is going to be kind of wide open. So as a creator, I'm going to be trying to do more things. So I'm hoping to bring more things to this channel. Um, not just, you know, in general, but more things to this channel and uh, to keep you guys, you know, up and, you know, entertained and, and so on and so forth. But for now, I'm going to let you guys go. Uh, I got to get to take care of some business. And uh, you know what? I hope you have a great day. And uh, thank you. And I appreciate you guys. Comment. Comment on the video. And win the muck. I'll tell you guys next week who wins. All right? All right. Thank you. And I saw that comment. I think you meant, Chris, is one of my goals of doing this full time. It is absolutely my goal to do this full time. Because if I can do this full time and live off the money, the reality behind it is, is I have a seven year old son that I can spend more time with, um, that I can concentrate more on my time with. And uh, you know what? And ultimately, it, it would be nice because basically I'm doing my own business. So that's the whole goal. Right now, actually, the next goal is I got to put. I'm going to have to look, go look for a new car, too. Well, a used car, but <clears throat> since my car got totaled, waiting for the insurance to take care of everything once that's done, and I got to go car shopping. So, not really want to do that. My car that I had, they got, they just got an accident with last week, was, uh, it was a good car. It ran great and everything. I it was really nice with it. It had a lot of miles, but it still worked great. And I just put two brand new tires on it. But whatever happens. No one got hurt, seriously. That's the best part about it. So... I'm just sore. But anyways, by the way.